it's your girl Liz here and we are back with another video. I am here again with my friend Stephanie. Stephanie is a career coach. She helps people negotiate higher salaries. She helps coach them with confidence and business practices. If you haven't seen our other video, please check it out. It's nine tips and behaviors to becoming successful, following your dreams. While there's so many tips to learn how to trace your dreams, all the good advice. There is a dark side to leveling up and we wanted to talk to talk to you about that today. Stephanie has all the tips on how, how you can overcome hurdles of success. So the first tip is uh, hearing no. So if you wanna do anything um, in life or kind of the stuff that we're doing, working for ourselves, you're gonna hear no a lot unless you're just a true born salesperson. Um, most of the time you're gonna be hearing no. So you kind of have to get over it and get used to hearing no, grow some thick skin, expect it. It's like, you know, rejection does suck, but like what you just really gotta think of is what is the worst that can happen? They're not gonna take your first born. It's just like, oh no, and then you just keep moving on. It also breeds practice. Like you get to learn how to like duck and move and like, Sort of answer certain no's that you hear over and over again. I think that hearing no discourages a lot of people from doing a lot of things. Asking for a raise at work or people they dream of writing a novel and they don't want to write it because they're afraid that someone may tell them no if they can't publish it or someone may tell them it's not good enough. Looking stupid, looking like an yeah. amateur, like at the end of the day you're new, you don't know what you're doing so you are going to look like an amateur in the beginning unless you have a hundred grand to invest in yourself from the start to <laughs> have every uh, professionals do the stuff that you don't know how to do so you have to get over that right the rest of us we just have to hear no and hear no. keep it moving the dark side of leveling up can definitely be not having the support of your friends or family congratulating your successes or attending your events like let's say you always want to be a party planner or something like that and you invite people to show up and and the closest people to you don't make that time. You will find this a lot as you're trying to level up. There's tons of videos of people talking about it. it it's, it's just a thing that happens. It's really unfortunate, it's really sad, but like you just gotta keep going, you know? If you only have one life to live and you have to do the things that you want to do. There may be people in your family that don't approve of your lifestyle, the job that you wanna take, and don't allow the fact that the people in your family, that they, they may not support you, because as you keep progressing on and moving up, you're gonna meet the right people. My sister always said that just expect that. Everyone has their own life. You know, they're the star in their own life and they're not gonna remember that you have this thing or that thing and you know maybe they think because their family or their friends or they're so close to you that financially supporting you or just you know showing up isn't really necessary and maybe that's okay but maybe you know you would have liked them to be there don't take it personal it's okay it's normal and you know it's okay to have like a, a list of people that you want to like check off in the future like you support me I'm, i remember you yeah. you know like keep it as motivation but for the most part don't take it personal all right, number two is loneliness. So this could just be for me, but um, if you are, <laughs> if you're super focused on your business, you know, you have rent to pay, you are just like obsessed with making money, you can tend to just silo yourself. You're only working on your business, you're kind of obsessed with it. And because of that, you don't really have friends that you talk to anymore. So just push through it and um, keep focused on what you're focusing on. And also if you, you haven't gone into business with a partner, um, that can kind of contribute to your loneliness Definitely. too. So if you have the chance to go into business with a partner, I would suggest doing that versus just doing it on your own. I really am looking for that, a, a collaborator that I can work with closely. When you're a creative type person, not being around other creatives can like make you feel a little bit icky. Creative people are around each other, they just like kind of blossom, it's just like ideas, music, art, and it's just like abundantly beautiful. Just thinking of my times when I've been in those situations and it's just like free love pretty much. It can be a little bit hard if you don't have that. And yeah, you can find communities on Facebook or Instagram of like-minded people, so photographer communities, etc. The next would be dropping the ball in other areas of your life, like fitness or healthy eating or just whatever. So for me, um, prior to starting my business, I'm I used sorry, to sorry guys, there's a dolphin or a shark <gasps> over there. Really? So for me, um, I used to go running. Typically it was when I was feeling a little bit anxious, but I would go running and once I went full force onto my business when I had to like make rent and stuff like that, I would just work all the time and I wouldn't really leave my house. Yes. 
I saw another one again. No! <laughs> Definitely don't stop taking care of yourself. If you like to run, exercise, please keep doing that because eventually it's gonna pile up, right? You're gonna realize that it's been months now and you haven't had any joy, hadn't had any fun. So, so it's really important to keep up those things. Try and keep making your bed. Make sure your hair is still combed. Take Shave care of your yourself. Legs. Shave your legs. So the next one would be having to show up whether you feel like it or not. So if you're going into business for yourself or you're doing something where you're taking a leadership style role, you have to put on that leader hat. It's not a hobby. It's not when you feel like it. This is a job. I need to be consistent. If I am looking crazy today and I don't have anything to say, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm in a bad mood, it's up to me to shut that lower level Stephanie down and put on my leader hat and serve my audience. Part of this process, of course, is showing up when you don't really want to. And more money, more problems, right? You have more responsibility, so you're going to have to show up when, when you don't want to, but of course it's all going to pay off. That's the whole point of it. So the next um, sort of dark side is people potentially talking crap about you, making fun of you, and people potentially copying yeah, you. For me, it was just like, do you want to be a business owner do you, or not? Do you want to be a leader or not? Like that just comes with it. So you can like feel sad about it. You can bitch to your friend about it, but then just get over it and get used to it. I'm sure 20 people have been laughing at us out here that we're making videos. I, as a vlogger, <laughs> get tons of stares and laughs and points and stuff. People you know want to judge me for what i'm doing but i'm having fun i love making videos for you guys i've seen people looking like what are they doing they probably said we're a bunch of weirdos but we're having fun we're bringing our viewers content that they need and we want to help you guys and you just got to be like screw it just do just just do it just do what you want to do so the next tip may get too too dark but i'm just going to keep it real with you guys so i live in san francisco and there's a lot of homeless people out here there's a lot of people that are the same age as me look just like me well educated and they're homeless and it's because they came here with a dream and for whatever reason they ended up homeless and for me um, i came out here i went into business for myself due to circumstances and um it was very scary and seeing other people like in the on in the park where i run that are homeless so um, that's something that you will face if you don't have a place to stay, like you can't stay with a family member, you don't have savings. Rent is due and it's real. How can you not let that stop you from taking risks? First of all, nothing should stop you, like nothing. I would say for one, what helped me a lot was just finding spirituality and becoming financially literate. So just budgeting, seeing how long I would need to stay in this apartment, where I need to have money coming in, um, and exploring other avenues outside of just having liquid cash. So doing all of that and then also having some you know spiritual sort of source that you can believe in a set practice every day center yourself inner peace have you tried inner kundalini because that's like inner peace i gotta okay. figure out the thing because having a cup of whiskey in the morning is not exactly working I that's mean, a joke that's a joke <laughs> do what you gotta do but <laughs> So the last dark side is, you know, feeling like, you know, sometimes you don't have anyone that you can talk to when you potentially can talk to people. Also, you may not feel like you have an outlet. I just want to say, like, never stop learning. Even if you're a police officer, work in an office, like, never stop learning things. Even if it has nothing to do with what you do, like, pick up something unrelated. Learn how to cook learn a new language do things so that can be a common outlet for you in your work yeah awesome. okay so thank you guys for watching this video please leave a comment rate and subscribe stephanie where can everybody find you on the interwebs you can find me on youtube soulwork and selfies you can find me on instagram stephanie.im.heath and my website is soulworkandselfies.com all right thank you guys see ya Bye. All right, so the family members thing, you want to take the lead on that? Not supporting you. Dang.
if my family watched this thing and be like, well, f- that bitch. <laughs> Just be like people close to you. Man, I don't I mean, care. I really I'm talking about y'all. I've been there. I've I'm been talking there, about though, all like... of y'all. No, okay. So, um... <laughs>